Hello, 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 Aphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another celebrity reading. This time it's on Ariana Grande. Everyone is up in arms saying that she's not well, they're worried about her, what's going on with her. I've been spammed with requests to do this and I haven't done an Ari reading in a while, I'll put my last one up here. Um, so I'll go ahead and do another one um and see kind of what's going on with ari like is something going on is she okay what's going on with her man so kind of do a little checkup on miss ori um so remember these rings are all legend for tapers only and let's get started okay so let's just do ari oh wheel of fortune reversed what the hell Who's telling her what to do? Hold on. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Everyone stop throwing chairs. Everyone calm the fuck down and stop throwing chairs. Oh my god, okay, Ari fans are gonna be fucking mad. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is reversed, which is about bad luck. But I also see that as pushing your luck. So she's definitely pushing herself way too hard. She's spreading herself way too thin. And I definitely think she's working herself uh, to the point of like exhaustion. She's put too much on her plate. But the Wheel of Fortune being reversed and the Eight of Cups is a red flag. So the Eight of Cups is about like walking away from something or running from something. The Justice card, what's fair is fair. And the Nine of Pentacles. Why do you like to spend time by yourself? Why are you throwing yourself into work? What are you running from? And who or what are you distracting yourself from? Why do you feel better when you're overworking yourself and you're distracting yourself? This eight of wands is a verse, which is about a slow process of change. And the page of pentacles is about expectations that are never met and the hierophant is a marriage. I think that she's thrown herself into work and thrown herself into being perfect for her role with the movie and whatever else and all the other things that she's doing to avoid issues in her marriage. That's what I think. Um, I think she, there's something going on between her and Dalton um, allegedly for chambers only. These are all alleged for chambers only. Um, and I think she's just distracting herself. The Nine of Pentacles, it's better when I'm busy because I don't have to deal with it. It's better when I have other things to do because I don't have to worry about it. We don't argue. We don't get into it. I don't have to worry about what he's saying or doing. She's using her work as an escape from her marriage. The Hermit's reversed. The Four of Swords is reversed. The Ten of Wands. She doesn't want to fail. She wants her marriage to succeed more than anything. And she will do whatever it takes. The Ten of Wands. She has a lot of burdens on her shoulders. If Dalton told her to jump, she would say how high. Like this girl wants so badly to make this work that she will compromise and do everything. It... Okay, it reminds me of one of my, my one of my best friends who's a Libra who doesn't know how to say no when she cares about someone or something and just keeps piling on top of herself until she explodes. Shout out to Yvette, Miss Thickathong. Um, but that's what it's giving. The hermit is reversed. So it's like, I will do whatever it takes to make this right. But all the burdens get pushed onto her shoulders. She's also not communicating her problems because I feel like she feels like every time she communicates them, she ends up like crying. And it's like every time I communicate this, it's wrong. So she's shut down. The moon is reversed. The three of wands and the four of wands reversed. What's going on? Is she not allowed to talk to people? Is she not allowed to have friends? I don't like this. Okay. I don't like this. 
okay their relationship was not as was not in this place the last time i read them like a year or two ago what is this the three of wands tells me that she's been separated from someone the moon revealing of a secret and the four of wands her like home and environment to me she either has kept things from her friends or friends have had to been removed or distanced and i don't know if i would say that she was forced to do this i think she's embarrassed of something that looks like an embarrassment i don't want people to know this it's almost like I'd rather they not know this, so let me just distance or push away or stop talking to this person, whatever. She feels guilty for her fame. Her and Taylor Swift have a lot more in common than you would think. Um, she feels guilty for her fame, and so because she feels guilty for her fame she overcompensates and is just doing whatever she can to please and it's impossible to please mm -mm. i don't know if i would say dalton's being very fair um the page of cops is reversed the four of pentacles and the star though I don't just feel like the weight of the world is on her shoulders and she's stressed beyond belief. And it's an outward projection of how she feels inwardly. Mm -mm. He's okay. He's annoyed because he feels like she's not a person, which just makes him more upset and maybe angry or frustrated. And the more he gets frustrated, the more she tries to please, the less she becomes a person. She morphed into a people pleaser, and he doesn't like that. So they're pushing each other apart. He's like, why can't you just be the girl I met when I first met you? Why can't you just be yourself? And she basically doesn't know who she is anymore because she's adopted and uh, like sort of molded to whatever needed to be. So she's completely lost herself and that's making him pull further away from her. That's making him frustrated because she's like, I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it, but he's getting the ick. Every time she tries to fix it, he gets the ick because he's just like, no, I want you to just be yourself. Like, I just want you to, in, like, what are you doing? And it just makes her feel more pressure and more pressure. Emperor, Empress is reversed too. Lack of self-love and self-care and the three of cups is reversed with the two of cups. I will say someone here has immense jealousy. I don't know if it's him or her or both, but there is an incredible level of jealousy. Let me see if I can figure out where it's coming from. Uh-oh, what's his sign? Mm, he definitely doesn't like the fact, he definitely does not really want her to work as much. He definitely doesn't really like her working and stuff like that. King of Pentacles reverse, Page of Swords reverse, and Two of Pentacles. Definitely a little bit more traditional than I would expect. But I also don't like... Mm. She's very needy. And I think... I think he gets very jealous very quickly because he knows that she attaches very quickly... It's him that's jealous of her. I don't, I mean, I'm sure she has jealousy issues too, but it's mostly him because he feels like you attach really quickly and you get very emotional and you open up and share things to people that you're only supposed to share with me. You're way too intimate with people and you should be more, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be sharing everything with everyone. Some of it is just for me. Three of Swords reverse. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I actually don't think either one of them want to break up. But there's like this fight. There's this battle for control. This battle for direction that's going on right now. For sure. I do think there's it's possible to work through this. But... I don't know why. I don't know. It's so weird. The Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, see, that's like the abuse of power so that's like the power struggle that's going on 
and the three of pentacles and six of pentacles is there which is six of pentacles is about accountability so those are like rules and the three of pentacles is like work which is like the rules that i usually have for i can hear delta and be like the rules i usually have in a relationship have to be broken because of, because of your job and because you have a different like career path that i'm used to and he's struggling he's really really jealous but it's not because he doesn't like her i think he had this jealousy issue before i don't i mean there's a battle for for control and i think you can read that as him being controlling but i don't know if i would necessarily say it's directly controlling to me it reads more as someone that is very jealous and possessive and territorial and I see her not being the greatest communicator. So instead of her standing her ground and pushing back, she just does what he says. She's too submissive. And that's the problem is that she's not pushing back enough. I think she's just exhausted. If she were to be pushing back and kind of telling him to suck it, I think that their relationship would have a better balance. But right now he's dominating her because of that. She kind of needs to push it a little further I don't think he's malicious the knight of swords I genuinely think that he believes this is what's best for her but it makes her walk on eggshells nine of wands reversed and the ten of pentacles is reversed as well which What she thought she wanted in a relationship and what she needed were two different things. Dalton gave her everything she wanted. Someone who would not leave her, someone who would be possessive and want her all the time, want to talk to her all the time and give her everything. He gave her everything she thought she wanted, but then she got it and she realized that she felt suffocated and that it was all about him. And she just, I, I, I don't, I don't want this to be a Dalton bash fest because I understand him. For him, he's like, isn't this what you wanted? Isn't this what we established? And for her, yeah. That's why she's like trying to succumb and, and do things for him because she's like, wait, yeah, this is what I wanted. But I didn't realize it would come at this price. I didn't realize, you know, be careful what, I, what, what you wish for here because I didn't realize that it would become this. And now she feels a little bit pressured and trapped. Girl, they need to go to therapy because they can work on this. He does love her, so they can totally work on this. But she needs she needs to love herself. You need to love yourself. Her name is Ari. Like, you need to love yourself, girl. Like, this is not going to work unless you learn to love yourself. Because he's losing respect for her. And that is really what's going on here is he's losing respect for her. And once you lose respect, it's really difficult to not lose the relationship. The Eight of Pentacles versus the Seven of Swords versus the Two of Wands, which to me is like the fighting is not the problem. The working is not really the big issue. It's the respect that he's losing for her. Like she's almost reading as pathetic to him. And I know that's a harsh thing to say, but when you're in this position of she's basically traumatized when you're traumatized and you're just in this position of let me help let me fix let me mend things let me overextend myself you lose your identity and when you lose your identity your partner is not going to respect you in the same way and um this just makes me feel very sad for her it makes me want to give her a hug but at the same time it makes me want to give her some tough love and be like bitch you're literally ari yana guan day like what are you doing like, literally, you're that bitch. You'll always be that bitch. What are you doing? Like, you're massively successful and massively talented. What the fuck are you doing? Like, you are that bitch. You need to be reminded that you're that bitch. You've been isolating and pulling yourself away from friends, which is why you don't feel like yourself. It's like when someone hasn't gone and seen the sunlight in days and they feel depressed. Like, you need to be reminded of who you are. You need to be sounded, surrounded by better people. You need to be celebrated. Once you remember who you are, this relationship will go right back to a healthier place. But until you do that, you're just going to feel like you're broken and lost. 
Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, and Ten of Cups. I also feel like she feels guilty that she's not able to give him the happy ever after, the white picket fence, the marriage, the baby, the everything. There's some for, some form of guilt there as well. Her and Taylor Swift are a lot similar. I do think that Ariana is a little bit more needy though. Ariana is more conflict adverse. Um, whereas Taylor's more conflict verse or whatever. Anyways, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. I do think she's just going through a really, really, really rough patch right now. Um, and I think uh, for her, she's like, I'll deal with all this once I finish filming. I'll deal with all this once I finish all the things on my schedule. She's just compartmentalizing and pushing it off for right now. So um, I do think that the two of them can get on a better place, but she needs to really prioritize herself, work on herself, and really be reminded of who she is. She's lost. Um, and, you know, we love Ari. So I hope that she can get on the right track. Um, I don't think he's like this like demon, but you know, she wanted someone who loved her forever and held her tightly and never let her go. Right. That's what you wanted. You wanted, you wanted the possessive, jealous, territorial man, but living with him is a little bit different than she expected. So I guess we'll kind of see how this goes, but, uh, I'll leave it there. Remember, if you guys like this, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. This button is a heart. So thanks. You can buy it directly. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Reddit. And until next time, bye guys.